And we're live. Welcome to Wasabi While Not, What's Hard in My Tummy Wednesday, another low tech health, let ourselves translate expert knowledge, health talk with your host, Brad Burns. Brad better than a bidet burns out of toilet paper, pre COVID newspapers or work. I'm getting some newspapers that are showing shit we don't care about anymore. Ugh. Thankfully, I live. <laughs> In a city that hasn't figured out public transportation, the one of the times we can all raise our hands up high and say, thank you for fucking this up. Because big cities who have happen to have little containers where all the viral loads are being shot all over the faces of everyone. And they're touching men. They're touching their mouth, their eyes, and their nose. So... Wasabi Walnut, what's hurting my tummy Wednesday? What is hurting my tummy? Hmm, well, there's some, um, there's some problems. We're, um, not the happiest I have been in my job right now, and it's not for who I'm working with. It's, it's, yeah, it has been in the past. The times I've had issues have been not with patients. Maybe sometimes family doesn't like my tone, but it's always been the nurses that I'm working with who have had a problem with me just because, you know, I'm a dude in a predominantly female uh, occupation. I can be seen as maybe an asshole. I don't mean to be, but the way I speak sometimes will come across as I'm not afraid to tell you what I think, and I would love criticism. I honor confrontation. I think healthy confrontation is one of the founding foundations of this country and it's fantastic free speech is awesome we should all try it all the time and in a case where health is the main point I don't really want to parse words I don't want you to think I'm saying anything other than for every pound of body fat you got 7,000 miles of blood vessels you need to innervate the reason you are out of breath is not because you're short of breath but because you are long of body this is a real thing, and I'm sorry to say this to you. I have no essence of vanity attached to it. I do not judge you, but listen, we're talking simple math. We're talking things that can't be changed. Oh, shit, my video stopped. Well, anyways, <sighs> most startling thing about this whole catastrophe is the idea that we may or may not be seen as expendable. There are some things online as far as what our administrators are saying that is flying in the face of what we're being told in person. We are having an issue with personal protective equipment and the issue is it being reused. And I am seeing that makes my tummy hurt. The words online that these same institutions we're working with say throw them away, don't reuse them, that's what our policy is. We're getting told something different in person, which is upsetting, and it's disturbing, and I think it's gonna be an issue. We're not necessarily turning against each other as nurses and nurses, doctors and doctors. There's always been a little bit of a backbiting vitriol, but that's just because we all get our ass chewed out here and there, usually from people above us down below. But this is an issue of we don't know who has it and who doesn't, who's coughing, who's touching their face. I tell you, I my OCD has been running rampant, seeing people touch their nose, face, eyes, ears, all this shit, not wash their hands, walk in and out of rooms, sometimes not foaming, depending on what they look like. A lot of times, if they seem a little unconfident, which is fantastic, really, we want to be able to question. I question your confidence. Today's question in Wasabi Walnut was hurting my tummy Wednesday is, how can you be so confident that it won't hit you? We're seeing mild, moderate, and severe cases of this. Some are, they're mild for days, like, Nine, ten days, minimal oxygen requirements, if that, and then, <laughs> that's right, fucking scared you, didn't I? Bam, they're in acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, which is uh, akin to being drowned or sucking in, like, caustic asbestos or just <gasps> huffing air freshener to the point of your lungs filling up with so much fluid, 
that it's it's about pulmonary edema. It's flash pulmonary edema is what I'm hearing. It looks like not yellow, nasty, viral sputum, but pink, frothy, fucking my heart stopping sputum. Mm. You saved some of my intensity for Forgive My Foul Mouth Friday because today is Wasabi Walnut, What's Hurting My Tummy Wednesday. And I don't know what day it is, but we are mid-COVID and these newspapers talking about pre-COVID life, it's not, it's not going to go back. We're not going to go back to that pre-COVID life, what we're caring about. Like who's open when, who's seeing who, what outfit somebody's wearing. It's a very serious issue and we still, we have to maintain faith that it's real. If you're in quarantine, here's a hug. You can't see it because video stopped, but I'm just, I'm going to give you a hug and just try to appreciate the people you are able to be with. Tell your family you, you love them because this is reality. If this isn't the apocalypse, it's not, but it is a great rehearsal for it. Thank y'all for listening. I love every single one of you. Remember to be thankful and question healthily. Question, be curious, be that curious savage that asks, why am I so confident that this won't hit me? Why shouldn't I wash my hands? Why shouldn't I look at the world as a matrix of infestations of germs? We're outnumbered. It's one of the main themes of this low-tech health has been we're outnumbered by our little buggies and we have to keep them happy and sometimes they're only happy if they spread and kill so we're not gonna be able to keep this one happy so the best thing we could do is keep it away from us i don't want anyone i know i don't want to get this this is not the flu be wise wash your hands don't touch your eyes see you tomorrow or two days <laughs>